But doesn't it have the, the year on it? Wait a second. 1964. I was born in 62. So you would have been two years old. Yeah. It's always something. Hey guys, welcome into my channel. So today is Thursday. We're gonna hit the road quite early and go over to Lincoln Highway Goodwill. I brought you to this Goodwill two videos ago and we had a great time. Let's do it again. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're going thrifting. Okay, as you can tell, we are starting in the clear glass aisle. Figured I'd go rogue today and just mix it up a little bit. $3.99. So this is like a satin glass applied to a clear glass. It's a vase. Eh, not really feeling it, but it was interesting. Okay, so clear glass, I think, is the only aisle that is organized. Everything else is chaotic here. And all my fellow resellers have been saying, I hate this. And I don't know, I kind of love it. I think I do well in chaos. I'm not quite sure why, because I'm a fairly organized person. What are these up here? These almost look like they would be really nice for ice cream sundaes. That is kind of cool. And while you weren't looking, I put these things in the cart. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to show up. $3.99. I don't know who these little people are, but it seems like I'm gonna open up the bag because it's knotted. I can untie that and see who it is. I see Jasmine there, and I don't know who anybody else is, but I can check their tags. So we're gonna keep an eye on that situation. I found this cheese board. This is everything. I love this. This would be great for a charcuterie board. It even still has its little knife, its cheese knife or spread knife. Not sure how this would go. Maybe like that? Does that fit in there? It does not. So I'm gonna have to check that out, but this is everything. I love this pattern. $1.99, it's in great condition. Royal Pantry, it was made in Japan. So definitely vintage. And I found this big giant shelf that I don't need. The brass is really good though. It's a nice heavy brass. And I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I don't know I'm gonna take that because right now I'm really, I've been so good disciplining myself, no big things. So, um, and this is kind of big, it's heavy. It's gonna be oversized box. I have switched all of my listings to Ground Advantage and that is going very well. So just reporting back, oh, this has a sticker. Let's see what the sticker says. It says, oh, upside down, made in Taiwan. Let's see it this way now. Yes, made in Taiwan. Interesting. So vintage, again, I really like the breasts. Let me see if I can lift this up for us. Very heavy. All right, so it is a shelf and it has these breast knobs. It has quite a scratch in it. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Is it a scratch or a crack? It might even be a crack. Let's look at the underside. Yeah. I don't know, I'm on the fence because the brass is really good. So I will let you know if I take it or not. Most likely I'm leaning towards not. Oh, here comes another cart. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I was mistaken. It wasn't a new cart. It was one of the workmen wheeling out his cart of tools. False alarm. All right, let's get off the clear glass aisle because I don't want to do clear glass. I just don't want to. See, isn't this stuff much better? all this color. So like I was saying, all of my friends here do not like this situation because everything is just mishmash mixed in. I don't know, it's kind of fun. All right, this is clear glass. It's like an amber color. It's a very big beer stein or maybe it is a beer pitcher. It's 
little jar as a wedding fund. I'm going to ask them to lower the music. I don't want to fight the music all day again. Oh, look at this poodle lamp. How sweet is that? Modern. That is so cute. $7.99. The paint is kind of in disrepair, but that is adorable. I did put a request in for them to lower the music and the cashier who's a sweetheart said she would ask the management look at this lamp 4.99 the shade looks to be in really nice condition let's take a look at the other side i don't mind shipping lamps when they're this small oh this is so cute look how sweet that is i don't know who's making it again the shade Really nice quality. Look at all the work going into that shade. I don't think it's silk. I can't quite tell. It might be. But for $5, we're going to put that in the cart. Too bad it's not black tag, but we'll take it. $5. Spotting some copper pans on the bottom shelf. Look at these. Brass handles. I don't see a maker's mark. They're quite heavy. Now, I don't know if when they have a brass handle, if that brings as much, I would think not, as when they are solid copper. See the insides? Really gonna have to do some research because they are quite heavy. Yeah, look at the handle. It's like the coating is missing. So this has been coated. So that tells me right there, not a high quality item. I would wanna see it marked uh, made in France. That would be a sure telltale sign that it was high quality. All right, up here on the top shelf, I'm spotting, oh, it's plastic. <laughs> Tricked me. A gold wool sconce, it is made in USA, marked 1996. So we're gonna put that one back. So I spotted these Napco Wear candle holders. I do like these. I don't know, tribal, ethnic, boho. Here's the problem, here's the situation. One is lighter than the other, so it's two different reds, which drives me crazy right there. $4 a piece, and I don't expect these would bring more than $18, so that's, you know, that's a thing. Look at that faded felt. Now the felt is like a paper felt, it's not that really good quality wool felt, but I do kind of like them. All right, so $8, mm, too high. I think if they were the same intensity of red, um, I would be tempted. Okay, so the employee did lower the music, which is great, and now we have a screaming baby. <laughs> you can't win for trying. Okay, you guys know me. Belts always capture my attention, but these are just a big group of cheap belts, except for this one. Can you see the difference? Look at the difference. It has like variation in the color. When you find plastic, plastic's almost always all one color unless it's made to look stippled or something. But real leather usually has variation because it's a hide. So I'm gonna pull this one down. This one says a waxed steer hide, 44. Now, even though it has a little bit of wear, I still think this will sell. I'm looking for the price. Oh, I see the price at the end. Nice wide belt, love that. Okay, a little bit of wear here, not a deal breaker, $3.99, but black tag is half price, so we're getting this one for $2. Definitely, definitely going in my cart. One thing that is in my cart, or two things that I didn't show you, again, I grabbed them when you weren't looking, are these sack crocheted handbags. I'm going to give these thought. I don't know that I'm going to get them. Um, I will let you know. The crocheted bags can bring, these two are in nice condition. I'm gonna say 22 to 25, so I'm gonna give that thought. The last thing that I grabbed, I had to grab these things, they were coming out on a cart, is this mixed lot of hardware. This is Amarok, A-M-E-R-O-C-K. I love selling Amarok. It always brings a great price. This looks to be a draw handle or a draw pull. I'm gonna open them up and count them. Uh, $3.99, and it also comes with a Schlag three hinge um, project pack. It looks like hinges that are, I don't know, door hinge maybe. I'm not really interested in that. I am interested in the Amarok handle, so I will report back. Uh, most likely I'm taking this. Okay, scouting out the toy aisle. We all know this box. Jim Shore, Hartwood Creek. This is probably either a plaque or a plate. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and pull this out for us and see what it is. 
Okay, so it turns out it's a play, Christmas play, 2006. This should bring about $20. Jim Shore is highly collected. And I'm looking for Goodwills. Ooh, $7, a little bit high. I guess the employees that are pricing have discovered that Jim Shore is a good thing because if they didn't know this name, this would probably be like $1.99. $7 too high. Um, otherwise, I'd pick it up. Like I said, probably 20 to 22. So the margins aren't there. But Jim Shore is highly collected. This is what the box looks like if you can find it, you know, and it's reasonably priced. These sneakers are $9.99 and I'm not getting them, but I pulled them off the shelf to show this name to you. See this name, CVs? These sneakers pre-owned can do very well. Now the lace-ups don't bring much money for me, but if you find the slip-on ones, I'll include a couple of comps for CVs so we can see what I'm talking about. Some of them can bring serious money. We're talking like 40 to 45 for a used pair of sneakers, but this style is probably gonna bring maybe 15 tops 18 so um, I wanted to show the name to you this is what it looks like on the back and it's usually branded on the heel there all right I'm putting these back but I wanted to give you guys a heads up this is a special shout out to the employees in this store I tell you what these are my favorite Goodwill employees the people that work here are so nice first of all one of the employees named Ash hey Ash she's a girlfriend showed me this. I had no idea what I was looking at. This is selenite. It's a rock carved into a votive candle holder, $2.99. Now in itself, this will bring probably about $15, but she told me that if you find the tower ones, the ones that are taller and they're kind of like tiered, they can bring some serious money. So Ash, thank you so much for just sharing your knowledge. She is a wealth of knowledge. So that was very fun. Oh, a canister. This looks to be Ransberg. Wood top, really nice. Oh, the other ones are inside. Uh, but they don't have their tops. That's strange. Strawberry pattern. I wonder if the tops are gonna come out or are on the shelf someplace. Okay, so $3.99 for the set. Only one has a top. Hmm, quite a bit of expected rust. I think these things always rust. Boy, that would have been a really good find. I would think probably $40 for the four. But without the tops, yeah, it won't bring anywhere near that amount. I'm going to keep my eye open for the tops and see if we can find them. But for now, I'm going to keep this one on the shelf. And if somebody else grabs it, that's what happens. But very cool strawberry pattern and definitely vintage. Ransberg has an artist palette. Um, is that what it's called? What the paint is on a palette, right? As their logo. So it's very easy to spot. I've seen mushrooms. I've seen uh, floral. What other ones have I seen? I'm trying to remember. The mushroom ones stick out in my mind. Those are really cool. All right, but I'm going to leave that one for somebody else. What is this? Brookstone pop and pour. The beer mug with a built-in bottle opener. Oh, that's funny. Huh. Brookstone is a good company. I've sold a lot of their stuff. I don't know if Brookstone is just online now or if they still have mall stores, but um, quite a few things I've sold from Brookstone. Okay, so it has been a productive day, but I am really being like strict with myself of what I'm bringing home. Here is a little vintage lunchbox tin, but $9.99 is a little bit more than what I want to pay. This came from an antique booth or store. They had it marked $59, and obviously it didn't sell for them. I'm thinking maybe $25 for this, tops $30, but $10 buy-in. I'm going to put this one back. I am going with everything that I showed you in the front, the two handbags, the Amarok handles. Here is a Diet Right Cola bottle. Now you would think, oh, this is an amazing find. Goodwill wants $1.99, which is a fair price, but I'm thinking this would probably bring between $5 and $7. I'll look it up and insert a screenshot. Okay, this Teddy I fell in love with. This is Dan D, $9.99, and he has from Pennsylvania on the bottom of his foot. So while that's really sweet, that really narrows the field of who's gonna wanna buy this. And he's gonna be kind of big to ship, 
but you can kind of scrunch him down. I wish he was like $5.99. I would take him. He's a Christmas bear. I think he's the 100th anniversary that Tig is covering it. Um, so truthfully, still on the fence, but I think he's going back. Royal Albert is a great find. This is the month of November. What is that, a chrysanthemum, I think? Fine bone china teacup and saucer in the box, $3.99. I'm thinking this will bring a solid $25. All right, so I think that's everything. Did I show the vintage Snoopy lot? Three Snoopies. This one is in the original Toys R Us packaging. Uh, packaging a little discolored, which is actually a good sign. Probably from the 70s. I did not... Oh, is the date on the side? What does that say? 65. This is later than 65. I'm thinking... Okay, made in Hong Kong. Another good sign. 71. So this came in a little package with two just loose Snoopies. And what am I paying for this? I'm going to pay, if I can get that tag, $2.99. All right, a little vintage top. So I'm gonna grab that. Again, this came from the same vintage booth. I can tell by the lettering on the sticker. They wanted 15. I don't see a price. Okay, did I show you everything? Up. Oh, one more thing, same thing from the vintage, a whole vintage lot came in. This must have been somebody getting rid of their antique food or just paring down for things they couldn't sell, but $3.99. I'll sell this as a lot. I won't sell this as separates. I'll probably price it at, I don't know, $19.99, something like that. Lots of little vintage keychains and doodads. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. All right, guys, so now it is Saturday afternoon. Roger just got done shipping out and dropping inventory off. We are headed to Old Factory Antiques in Hummelstown. Did I get that right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there, so I'm not sure. I think that's the name of it. Okay. We're just Googling. We just Google places and go there. And um, yeah, we're not sure what we're going to find there. Sometimes you can pick up quite a bit of inventory from antique shops, believe it or not. So we always make sure to put that in the rotation. And this snack of the day, we always have snacks in the car, is Himalayan pink salt tortilla chips. We picked this up the other night at Home Goods when we hadn't had dinner. I ate half the bag the other night. And that is my lunch today. Roger already had lunch at home. What did you eat? Spaghetti with meat sauce. Oh. Leftovers. Very good. I heard you eating up something. Yeah, very <laughs> Always good. have to have good leftovers in the fridge. That's where we're off to. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're taking you with us. So this is what Old Factory Antiques looks like. It has a reader's ice custard and happiness right there. We'll have to go there when we come out. Sign over there for the if place. we're well behaved, we get ice cream. <laughs> Okay, so my girlfriend Stephanie, like I said, has a booth here, and I've been here, it's gotta be two years ago, and um, I really liked this place. This place has a lot of good stuff. Look at this, Roger making a beeline already. I one like this. You did? I love that color. I don't know, but man, not a Murray, I had a Schwinn. Did you? Kind of goes with your shirt. Yeah. How old were you when you had one like that? You were about eight years old? Yeah, 250. That's how much they want for it. I don't think I paid that. <laughs> I don't think I paid anything my parents did. <laughs> did you deliver newspapers? It looks like with those baskets on the back, you know, you can picture. That is very cool. Look at the fender. But doesn't it have the, the year on it? Wait a second. 1964. I was born in 62. So you would have been two years old. Yeah. Okay, do not let me buy a thing for the house. <laughs> he laughs. He doesn't say anything. Oh, this bench is cool. What do they want for this? Oh, $24. Wow, that's kind of nice. Okay, so Christmas in July, sales 15th through the 27th, open Monday to Saturday, 9 to 5. All right, let's go in. All 
I remember last time we were here, they had really good prices. Oh, this is fun already. This is an antique, but oh, is that adorable. $18. Oh, that's super cute. It's a little vase. Okay, what kind of stuff are you going to be looking for? Games. Old, old games. Old games. three floors. Welcome to the Old Factory Visit, all three floors. Leave your food and drinks outside. Items must have a proper tag to be recorded. 140 vendors. Wow. <laughs> Shoplifters will be hung and tomfoolery will not be tolerated. I like this place. Sorry. Hey! Okay, so Stephanie just gave us the lowdown. A few of the vendors have 50% off. 5 -0. I always say 5-0. And a couple will have 75% off. I love the aesthetic back here. A pair of rose prints in white frames. Very pretty. $30. I do like those. So what am I looking for today? I'm going to try not to look for too much personal stuff. We don't really need anything. I'm still on the hunt for artwork, for the bedroom. Roger's looking for old games. Another up. doll. <laughs> oh, she is sweet. This might be Stephanie's booth, is it? I think she's on the other side. She used to be. Oh, the clay dishes. We didn't do it. <laughs> okay. We're not going to be able to look at everything. That's I'm just saying. I love this place. I love it already. Oh, these were the mice. Look at these little mice. This is all handmade. Oh my word. So sweet. I love the sheep. Look at this one with the thimble hat. Doesn't get any cuter than that. $25. And 20% off. If you have a seamstress in your life, that is so cute. I don't know if they ship out. I'm gonna have to ask if they do online sales. If you guys see anything that you can, um, you know, give a call. I'll try to include a business card so that you guys can know where the place is and be able to call this place if you see something that you love. Okay, so this is where they bring the sold. So you can't touch them or anything because when people find something they want to buy, they're brought to these boxes. That is a beautiful picture. There's so many things I've never seen before, which is just amazing for how much we are in thrift stores. Look at those dogs. Are those called Staffordshire dogs? I'm not even sure. Large pair of spaniels, $125. Those are kind of cool. Okay, so one of our YouTube subscribers sent us a Visa gift card, and I'm voting that we buy ourselves something. <laughs> so thank you so much to that person. I won't name their name, but we received that in the mail this morning, so thank you. Thank you to everybody sending cards and gifts. We are still receiving wedding congratulatory notes and letters. You guys are the best. Diamond art bookmarks. Oh, somebody's making those. These are kind of cool. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh, that's pretty. Table lamp. $60. That's a tulip style. That is really beautiful. Nicely done. The leading is really, in my opinion, really nice. Sometimes you see the leading on these lamps and it's very, I'm going to call it blobby, like you see a blob of it. And then this person looks like they have experience. So. Beautiful lamp, $60. Oh, so this is Stephanie's booth, I'm pretty sure, because she, and the whole back room is hers now. Look at all the good stuff. Stephanie goes to auctions a lot. I love when we get to meet up. And this is pretty. I love this. Is this Portugal? Oh, it's Italy. $8. I really like that. It's an ashtray. 
Jerusalem pottery. I love this too. I love old pottery. $16. Stephanie, that's beautiful. I don't know where I would hang that. I really like that. $32, an original. That looks like oils. That's so pretty. Okay, so I know if I walk away from this, I'm going to keep thinking about it. I love this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it, but look how beautiful this is. This is all hand-painted. Jerusalem Old City. Absolutely love this. I'm going to go put this and start a pile. I'm starting a pile. <laughs> Nothing phases him. His piles are always bigger than mine. If you want a happy marriage, marry a guy who shops more than you do. Okay, where were we? Let's start where we left off. Okay, we saw this one. And then we need the other side of Stephanie's. Did we go through all of this? Let me go back into Stephanie's room. Let's see what else is back here. Hmm. This is so nice. What a nice way to spend the day <laughs> in an antique store. Like, I don't do this like five times a week. Okay, $39.99 for this corner cupboard. What? Am I looking at that right? That is gorgeous. I do not want to ship that, but how could she only want $39.99 for that? Very interesting. Honey, look at this corner cupboard. Look how old this is. Yeah, it's and $39.99. Would you ship that? I'm glad you're opening it. I wanted to, but I was too afraid. Look at the rounded. And it has the key. That's crazy. Is it old or is it not as old as I think it is? It's hard to tell. I'm not sure. It's got some age to it. It does. Know, know 40 bucks. That's, that's crazy. If, if I didn't mind shipping that, I would buy that in a heartbeat. It's got a lot of fragile yeah. corners. Yeah. You know, all these things. What is that called, those things? Cornices? Uh, yeah. Local pickup, but that's going to be be a wait. Okay, you all know that. Y'all know <laughs> that I really don't want to ship dishes, but isn't this so pretty? I love this one. Look at that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. $14. When I get old and I'm 90 years old, I'm collecting stuff like that. Oh, this is lovely too. Isn't this gorgeous? Ten dollars. That is such a good price. Oh, it's gold inside. Oh. <laughs> My favorite color is gold. I bet you guys didn't know that. My kids used to be upset when they were younger and I would ask them, like, what's your favorite color? And, you know, of course, the girls said pink or turquoise. And then they'd ask me and I'd say gold. They'd be like, that's not a color. I have always loved gold. Just a little gaudy, a little extra. Okay, so we are moving at a clip because there's so much to see. Three floors here. Up, oh, there's an empty... Oh, it is rented. I was going to say an empty spot. Do you want to have an should, antique booth together? Have a little, get a little booth like this. You want to? Yeah, it'd be fun. Really? Yeah. Is this close enough yeah, to our house? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. You want to ask about getting... Wait, is this happening really? Like yeah. we're really talking about this? Yeah. I don't know how often they come up. And what kind know. of stuff would we put in a booth? Antiques. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any antiques. We have a lot of... I don't even know what we sell. I'm any... sure in your collection you have some antiques. I have no idea. Okay, I think we're thinking about it. I was going to do um, a booth or a, a room one time. This was a while ago, like two years ago. 
And it wound up that the location, I don't know, the, the logistics of it was not good. And then she wanted like $275 a month. Yeah. If we got just a small one. Small one. Just to, okay. Just, just to see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, I really like that idea. Ooh, look at all the artwork. Look at all the artwork. Okay, I like this. What is this? Honey, can you lift this for me? It's like a botanical. I like this part of it, but when it gets like that, it's kind of like more traditional formal. Oh, that's sweet. The girl with the cat. All right, I'm still... Oops. Oh, now you're in trouble. <laughs> it's fine. Tim break. Tim break. Still looking for a prairie painting. I have not found one yet. That's a famous, famous painting. Okay, guys, I think we're going to ask how much it costs to rent a booth and see which booths are available. Now, I know some of the vendors also uh, volunteer here. So if that's, you know, if you have to volunteer, that's not going to work. I don't know when we'd, uh, when we would fit that in. Look at this bowl. Me and my bowls. Are they selling the bowl? Oh, they are $18. Turned bowl. Oh, dear. Do I want that? That is so pretty. Are they having a sale? I don't see any sale sign in this one. Let's take their little tchotchkes out carefully. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see what the inside of the bowl. Oh, this is a pretty one. Don't know that I need another wood bowl. Every time I get a wood bowl that I like, I sell it. <laughs> the dangers of being a reseller. Okay, we have spotted the first 75% off. It was 50. I wonder if they're clearing out. Oh, Capital Monte, I'm crossing in front of you. Has some chips. I do like the green bowl. I don't see a price in that bowl. Do you see a price on that green bowl? No, mm, it's It's faded, right? Is there anything we can't live without <laughs> or we think we could flip? These hand-thrown clay crocs always capture my attention because number one, I love them. $10. I don't know the age on this. I don't think this is especially old, but I wind up getting like between $35 and $40 for these on my eBay store. Unfortunately, this one has a little bit of its paint chipping and the clay underneath it looks quite white, which I don't think you really want to see that, so I don't think it's that old. Let's take a look at this other one. I like this color also, the dark. So beautiful. Brown, wet, redware. Brown, redware, mixing crop, $15. Yeah, a little bit of chipping going on, but if you ever see clay crock bowls like this that are genuinely old, these do really well on eBay. At least for me, they do. And I wanted to show them to you guys. Okay, so I asked Stephanie at the front desk why this corner cabinet well, is only $40. Up here. Where is it cracked? Okay. Right I don't even know if we knew about that. We didn't. But guys, look at this piece. Look at the back. Now this is newer. Old screws, I think, are always straight. They're never Phillips, so that's a good sign. Looks like pieces have been added to it. They might have added these to actually hang it, you know, for somebody yeah, to be able to hang good. it on the corner, right? So that might, you look at the hinges, but I'm not an expert, but look at that hinge. You don't find that hinge in like Home Depot or whatever. $40 does have the crack. It has the key. I love that it has the key. All right, talking myself out of it, back into it, out of it, back into it. How would we fix the crack? I mean, just glue it. Is that glueable, do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he says. <laughs> <laughs> the man that's been a cabinet maker for 40 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, do we want to take it? Yeah. I'll pay for it, you decide. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right, we're getting it. I can tell. 
We've touched it for too long. Once you hold it and start looking at it that long. All right, let's bring it up front. I'm happy with that decision. Okay, so that finishes floor number one. We are up to floor number two. Waiting for the barn doors to open. How cool is that? <laughs> they have a little elevator. Okay, going up to floor two. No returns. No checks. No, no checks. Heavy items. You must bring your own manpower. I brought my own manpower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was quick. We are on floor number two. Okay, it is a very hot day today. It's gotta be 90 degrees out and there's no air conditioning. So if you plan to come here and shop, you wanna pick a day that's a little bit cooler. Definitely worth a visit. Oh, it's more furniture up here, yay. Okay, now I bought two things and you didn't buy any. <laughs> Not yet, he says. Secret to a happy marriage, marry a man who encourages you to buy things. I don't know that I need any encouragement at all. Okay, so this is 75% off in this little cupboard here. I don't think it's for the whole booth. Oh, it might be the whole booth. Okay, so now we're gonna really have to look at things. What is this? This looks like a base, like a lacquered base to something. And I'm not gonna try to even pull out readers to see what that says. We're just all gonna have to get used to that I can't deal with the camera and a handbag and everything else and put readers on and off my face. It's just not happening. Ansel Adams. Ansel Adams photography is so beautiful. Okay, we have music playing up here, so I'm gonna have to talk the whole time. It's not overly loud though, which is good. Ooh, this looks pretty. What is going on in this booth? What is this, a taco holder? <laughs> I think it's a letter holder, right? Magellica, oh, napkin holder. I don't know that that's a napkin holder. I'm thinking that's a letter holder for a desk. I love the dark, moody paintings. I don't know that I wanna hang them in my house, but when they're this dark landscape with the sun rising or setting, that is so pretty. Another original. Wonder if it's the same artist it looks to be. See artwork back here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it. Let me lean forward and see what that is. It's a print. Okay. What's that, honey? I said that ground advantage might help some. Yeah, we're just talking about the difference between having to ship things and having a booth. We're just working out all the booth stuff. Okay. This is everything. Wow. Those are so cool. This looks like it's been carved from a telephone pole. I wonder if that's the case. Look at that. That is so cool. I see a few more smaller pieces up here. Look at this piece. This is beautiful. Bamboo it has a little candle in it. Let me just turn the tag around. Number two, $20, 50K tea light tiki number two. Is this man making these? Okay, that is so cool. Really, really like those. That is talent right there. I love this one. Very intricate. Oh, that is so good. $20. I think he's making that with a, a wood burning tool because you know, I know all about stuff like that. Those are very fun. I'd love to see them lit up. Nine dollars each. The brass is pretty. FJ candlesticks. Oh wow, that is really heavy. Yesterday when I was in Goodwill, uh, Devin, you know Devin, yeah. the, one of the workers, he said, hey, check out this lamp. It was a brass lamp. And I'm like, okay, it's going to be heavy. That thing was like 60 pounds. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was ridiculously heavy. But I loved that he sought me out, you know, so I could appreciate it with him. Is it getting ice cream time? 
Yeah. What flavor are you getting? Icy. Oh, they do have ice cream. Yeah. Icy ice cream. Oh, longer burger. Do you want any longer burger baskets? <laughs> so tell us, Roger, have you sold any longer burger baskets? Yeah, I sold a few. <laughs> I just got one the other day. Yeah. Did you? A tissue. A tissue one. Oh, a tissue holder. Tissue we both tissue sold those. Band. Yeah. I just got another one. Didn't you bring me one? I think the last one I sold you brought. Is this one air conditioned in there? It it's like open. It like it might Let's check that out. 15 dealers. Ooh. Oh, it's chilly cold. <laughs> so nice. We're going to look in here for a while. Oh. Big difference. Yeah, it is a big difference. What's the temperature today? Do you know? You were supposed to guess, not pull out your uh, phone. <laughs> <laughs> I say 90. 88. Yeah. Feels like Such 90. an exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> it says it feels like 90. It does. It really it does. Like I feel like I looked at this same exact purse last time I was here. And it had to be two years ago I was here. 68. That is a pretty one. Cross stitch. Monopoly. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's fun for a game room. Cabbage Patch doll. Look at the size of these shades, guys. That is huge. Okay, my mind is looking at antiques and... My mouth is wondering what flavor ice cream I'm getting. I'm not even a big ice cream eater, but because I had four chips for lunch, I think I've become an ice cream eater. I love coffee. What other flavors do I like? Sometimes I like Cherries Garcia. That's a good one. I think it's vanilla ice cream with uh, Bing cherries and a chocolate drizzle. That's always good. Oh, a tiki mug. Now I'm on a tiki kick. What do they want for this one? Oh, ten dollars. Who oh, is that made by? We don't know. It's probably sold in a gift shop, and he has no eyes. It's not a bad price. I don't know that you'd get much more than that. Probably fourteen. I'm gonna say to sixteen tops on a good day on eBay. Okay, so once again, my sales have been really good on eBay. I'm very happy the past couple of days. This morning was Friday, and I shipped out. I don't know how many I shipped out. A lot. It was a good day, good profit day. I'm going to say probably did, I don't know, maybe $1,000, maybe. Okay, I think it's getting ice cream time. <laughs> what time is it? Ice cream time. Oh, these cats are cute. I love cats with attitudes. Fifteen dollars. It's a white Persian. I like this one better for his expression. He's very cranky. I love a good cranky cat. Do we love a good cranky cat? Yes, we do. He's really funny. He's got an attitude. How much do they want for him? Fifteen dollars. <laughs> He's not impressed. Okay, this is Roseville. Let's take a look at the Roseville signature. There it is there. Oh, the R looks good. Let me turn it around so I can really see it. Um, this might be a fake. Roseville vase, $48. No, that might be real. I think that one is real. So many fakes of Roseville. Okay, I don't know if you'll ever see this footage because this is floor number three. <laughs> it's just a lot of antiquing. This is a really good place, guys. I have to say, this is one of my favorites. There's such a good mix of what they have here. There's furniture. There's a few more modern pieces. There's some handcrafts, but everything is beautiful. It's not like it's scrappy. Do you ever go to an antique store, an antique you know, mall that just has a lot of junk, to put it bluntly? Not this one. This one really has some nice stuff. Lots of different sales going on.
Third floor is hot, though. I have to say that. It's got to be a good 80 degrees in here. See, like this is not an antique, but that is really cool. $12. Okay, is it correct? Unique mirror, $12. Wow, if I was shipping craziness, I would definitely ship this. Look at this. $12. This dragony, jeweled, yeah. Somebody would definitely want that. But I'm not shipping that. That is kind of cool, isn't it? Do you see any chips or cracks? I think you should buy that to sell it. And the man has no reaction. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it has to be local. You have to do like Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, what does the back look like? Wow. Okay, what would we ask for that? What would you want to make it worth your time of meeting up with somebody on Facebook Marketplace? 50. 50 from 12? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. You'd be happy with 50? Yeah. Jeez. I think you could get that, get 50 for that all day long. Have you ever seen that? I have never seen that. So what are we calling that? A dragon, flying dragon mirror. Say that to Google. Or take the picture of it. <laughs> Do you have it turned around? Okay, so Roger is using Google Image. Okay, so go into it and see what the other person wants for it. Visit two flying dragons. Search for anything. Is eBay going to pick it up? We might not have internet access here. It's a mystery. We don't know what they want for it. Oh, so it's sold. $95. $95. So even if they accepted an offer, I vote we get that for $12. Yeah. Yes? Good find, babe. I didn't find it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you the credit. Yeah, that thing is, that's going to go. Everybody's going to want that, as long as there's no big cracks off of it. Yeah, no, it seems like it's in really nice shape. Okay, Roger's first purchase of the day. Do you want to pose with it so we can see what it looks like? <laughs> going to see me? See Get you. me out of the shot. <laughs> there we go. It's a very big swan right there. Some quilts. Oh, this reminds me of Topo Gijo. Okay, now I'm really dating myself. There was a little mouse at the end of the Ed Sullivan show that I was just in love with him. And his name was Topo Gijo. I think that was his name. And it was my favorite part. I don't know what I was doing up watching the Ed Sullivan show when I was like two or three years old, but my parents were a little bit relaxed. <laughs> okay, I'm really happy with our choices today. I don't know that we're going to find anything else. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Here is a quick update. So today is Saturday, the day after we picked these two items up. When I got home last night, I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to throw them onto Facebook Marketplace because I really feel like we scored with these two pieces. I put the Flying Dragon Mystical Mirror on and probably about an hour later, we got an offer for $100. I had listed it for $125. If you remember, we paid $12. So $100 is wonderful. The buyer is coming tomorrow and we're going to meet with him to pick this up. And I will report back if it's a successful sale and the sale is completed. You can go over and look at my Instagram and I'll try to remember to post a picture. 
Okay, the corner cabinet. I went back and forth on this, but this thing is gorgeous. After that, we went to a couple more booths and I saw that my hunch was right. These go for very good money and mine was even better than the ones I was seeing. So I paid $40 for it. It is just beautiful. $125. Again, Facebook Marketplace local pickup. So sometimes you don't have to run comps. I never want it to seem like, you know, I'm running uh, eBay comps on everything that I'm buying. Sometimes I just use my gut intuition, both items going out on Facebook Marketplace tomorrow at, uh, I think I'm meeting up at one o'clock. I have to check my notes. All right, guys, just wanted to leave you with that update. Sometimes it pays to follow your instinct. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.